This is an eye patch own. Hospitable than I'd imagined. Nadia, what's up? Fine tuning? Yeah. Got another battle tomorrow. Bit of a waste, ah. Uh. And you're such a slick fighter, too. Can't believe they paired you with that klutz me Abby. I don't know what the commander was thinking. <laughs> uh, at least you get to take it easy. Low risk of dying when you're in the rear guard. <clears throat> Nadia, we're waiting for you. Mission briefing? Cool, be right there. Later! Guess we live to fight another day? Come on, let's head back. To be fair, we scored some good points today. Tally's next week, was it? This is all such a waste. What is? Everyone else is out collecting life. And here we are, noodling our tunes. What use are we really? To the colony and everyone? I think it's obvious. We can only truly contribute... After death, is all. After death, though. Isn't that just pointless? We could be playing our hearts out here, and nobody'd even see us. Is that right? Sure it is! Mio, is that why you're here? For recognition? Is that why you're being an officer? For a commendation? No, it's just... duty. You know... I'm actually glad I was born a klutz. I bet you're just scared. <gasps> it is scary. Fighting. I am afraid to steal others' lives with my own hands. Actually, I'm impressed that it comes so easy to everyone else. It's just natural. We all of us live to fight. You're wrong. We just have to 
We fight to live, that's all. <sighs> Mew, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? <sighs> They're the same as ours. On the other side, the people live hoping the same things as us. It's a sad fate. Still, if we're forced to live this way, the least we can do is this. Fly high, ever higher. Goodbye, and thank you. To send on the voices of the departed is an off-seer's purpose. It's not a waste at all, so long as those voices speak to you. Voices? Just part of the protocol, innit? Whoa, check this place out. This is the West Group, right? And you say we'll find Colony Omega here? Yeah. The colony I was at with Miyabi. Sounds good. The cold of the Highlands is no joke. It would definitely be a good idea to rest up. How about that spot over there? Yeah, that looks good. Let's go. Whoa, I'm freezing. Mio, aren't you cold? 
Hmm, this is still bearable for me. I guess you hate the cold, Uni? I see, I see. Let's try not to piddle our money away. You can't stop me. <sighs> Mio, can you tell us more about Colony Omega? I've had glimpses when we interlink, but what does it all mean? Right. I'll try. Sana, is that okay? May I? Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. You can tell them. Five years ago, the three of us were foot soldiers in Colony Theta. One day with no reason given, we were transferred to Colony Omega. We didn't fight. Rather, we were subject to daily examinations for no clear reason. Then one day, there was a an accident. my whole self. So please, live life in my stead. Miyabi. Thank you. at all. Senna, 
Miyabi was a hero. All that an officer ought to be. She put it in here. And she gave it to me. Trudia. Hero. I decided. I'll find it for myself. I'll leave my mark. On others and the world. This lifetime that Miyabi gave to me. I'll use it well. Regret all you want, but the past can never be changed. But you can change who you are in the present. If I was stronger then, like now, I might have been able to save everyone. Is it wrong to think that? Not at all. I feel you. I know I wish I'd been stronger back then. So yeah, I want to go back there with that in mind. And now I have the chance. Mio, what kind of colony is this Omega? I never even knew it existed. Yeah, our side didn't know about it either. We've got, what, 23 Acnean colonies in all? They go up to Psy. Good intel. Hey now, don't go lumping me in with Lance. I took my education seriously. Ah, shut up. Don't flatter yourself. Colony Omega was an independent entity. It never engaged. The name it used was Agnion, but even that wasn't the whole truth. Omega's administrator was the Mobius Y. He was performing some kind of experiment there. Using us as guinea pigs. I don't know what he was doing. M wasn't briefed on it either. All I can remember is... That oddly glowing... Violet flame clock. A colony that doesn't fight. Never knew that was even a thing. Why has restored it now? Colony Omega, I mean. You know this from M. Senna, anything to add? I don't really know much about it. The accident happened pretty soon after we were moved. I see. Omega's existence, the tests, it was all why. That's just the Mobius he is. Do share. Mimi, remember? Didn't we see the same color on Ethel and Kamaravi's Veronises? I could be wrong. No, you're spot on. Good call, Senna. I didn't think of that at all. Really? and Kamaravi had their lives taken. And in that accident, so were the whole colonies. Most likely, Y was running experiments that could potentially prove fatal to us soldiers. And now that the colony's back, you're thinking Miyabi's still in there. Yeah. That's why I have to go. To end this. He's toys with our lives as he pleases for long enough. Exactly. I'm with you. Let me go too. We're all going, I thought. Right? Yeah. Obviously. Let's go, Mio. To Colony Omega.
Everyone, thank you. This time, I'll do the saving. The brilliance doth please. For ceaseless eons, we Mobius have abidden a pace with this world. Yet with drawn out abiding, many lost sight of the fifth thereof, dissipating slowly as doth the world. The brilliance of life is exigent. More dazzling than now. If we wish to save the world. The new colony Omega is somewhere around here, right? Yeah. It should come into view any minute now. No way! It really is Colony Omega. Miyabi. I don't suppose they'll let us past. There's only one way to Omega, and it's through them. Wait a sec. They're a mixed unit. But that's just not possible. Possible or not, it's what we've got to deal with right now. We'll just have to adapt. <sighs> Unusual. They might be stretched thin. Huh? If it's like Neo said, and they've been running an experiment out of Omega... These soldiers are evidently one of the results. Kevis and Agnes. What kind of experiment could involve both of them? I don't know. But I do know the answer lies ahead. I know! Feeling good! Run, run. 
Shall we deal with this? Everybody lay into that one. More enemies. I'll, I'll draw them. Thanks for the support. They've been reborn? No, if that was the case, wouldn't they be way younger? Mwamba looks like he did this term. Mwamba! It's me! Lance! You know me! Stop it! Mwamba! And now Kamaravi? What's going on? This melody... to fight tooth and nail for survival. Normally, they would undergo basic conditioning in a cradle prior to being awoken, as you all once did. They would fight for 10 years before returning to Her Majesty. What a piece of work. These younglings, they live for the sole purpose of battle. They are just as you are. You're full of it. Our memories and feelings, they define us. They dictate who we are. When you take all of that away... Tis a phantasm. Fundamentally, memories and feelings are but tacked on extras and afterthought. Tacked on? Cut the crap! Oh, they are a sheep. You are simply deceiving yourselves, wishing to divine some meaning from something that is devoid of it. <sighs> Why are you doing this? What's your goal? Merely the betterment of life for Mobius. What? For such is Zed's humble desire. Zed! It is Zed 
who wove the fabric of this world. Consequently, we who are his avatars enjoy powers beyond mortal ken. Mobius or Zed's avatars? The gift I was imparted is the creation of flame clocks. Must I say more? I hold the life of every soldier in the very palm of my hand. <sighs> Indeed, the flame clocks. They are part of my very being. Ethel and Kamaravi's flame clocks. Those were some of my finest work. Did they not thrill you? The ebb and flow of their lives. <sighs> then did it strike me. Like unto a flame, human life also doth glow and glimmer brightest just before it is quenched. And hence, there can be no greater nourishment. Indeed, this flame clock is therefore my proudest creation. The final year when life is at its most dazzling. A clock that gives rise to a sublime instant. Tis a flame clock most radiant. Final year? So that's it. Muamba and Kamaravi, you brought them back close to their homecoming. Why? This is all kinds of screwed up. I've never met anyone I wanted to punch more. Yeah. Even for Mobius, he takes the biscuit. What is the matter? Proceed with the killing. Let your function be fulfilled and kill. And I shall raise you up as many times as needed with my flame clock ablaze. He's mad. Come. Come. Let my eyes feast upon the brilliance of your lives. Here and on. Give me up! Power! 
You get so strong. Kamaravi, too. The last time we fought, he was in a Faronis. But he seems to be even more driven this time round. Sparks! Is this their fight or flight instinct? Poor Miyabi. They're strong, all right. But that's all they are. Huh? The melody Miyabi used to play? It wasn't like this. There's no way it was ever this sad. So then... Yeah. They're hollow. There's no will behind their actions. It's not our old friends that we're fighting here. It's something else. An astute observation, yes. It is so. Owing to the basic conditioning being lacking, their psyches are rather unstable. The melody you hear serves to prop them up. An offseer conveys peace to their cohorts. They enable them to realize dreams. That is what I focused my efforts on, and iterated. That's wrong! You can't use the offseers! Au contraire, au contraire. Behold for thyself. The mental instability is assuaged, and their movements adhere to the base specifications. Certainly, there is no will behind it. But will is an undesired side effect. Evil! You can't do this! Not to me, Abby! Not to our off-seeing rights! How dare you use them to your own ends! <sighs> That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Mio! It's feelings! Feelings. It's the Offseer melody we've been playing. We just need to play it again now. She's an Offseer too. I know for sure it'll reach her. Of course, yeah. Our melody. Just like always. Yeah. Understood. I'm taking the lead. You follow. Noah, Mio, what are you? Wow, good thinking, you two. Huh? I'm saying this might actually work. Come on, guys, defend. Lance, Senna. All right. Sure thing.
Me, Abby? Hear me? It's me. Mio. Remember. That day, when you first explained to me the purpose of an Anofsia. Softly. That fateful day, when the lights of life danced into the sky. So high. Ever since that day, I've... I've done my best. To play that melody. You trusted me with. Me, Abby. You gave me newfound life back then. Now, let it be my turn. Help. Help me. Just wait, Me, Abby. I'll be with you soon. to have all been scoured clean! Why? An Offseer's melody, it's more than a sequence of notes. It is shaped by feelings. Those of the player and of the ones being played for. All I did was shape the feeling Miyabi passed to me and play my heart out. Inconceivable. You were able to override Zed's precepts? No Ouroboros <laughs> should command that sort of power! The sword of the end. That's what's behind this reprehensible act. Well then, I shall just have to ascertain the matter. Oh, Spark! He's coming! Now he steps in. He's even chunkier than that K guy. That is a lot of junk. No! Mia! Come on! Yeah? Take him down. Then we can free the colony. Since you felt me no longer bound by the flame clocks, my mobile's power certainly holds no sway over you. Oh no! At this late hour, I will bring my mind, spirit, and flesh to bear, and batter you all into oblivion! Come! 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 The bloody sport commits! You took me up his mind! You made a fight for you! You'll get exactly what you deserve! What? What? Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. 
time! Quick, set them all free! Cut the flame pole, now! A creditable effort. Or a borrowed Reviving their memories is no small feat. And how? Scintillating a display. Now, take their brilliance in hand. And spread it wide. And in so doing, illuminate the world therewith. I shall be watching. Eagerly. He got away. Miyavi. Miyavi. I've, uh... I've been listening all along. The melody you've been playing. Every day. Since then. Yeah. Miyavi, thanks to you. I sent on so many. So many voices to so many others. And I'm not done yet. I'll keep going. It was a gorgeous melody. Yours. And... Noah. Nice to meet you, I guess. Though I already feel like I know you. Noah, huh? Yours was very beautiful. Just like Mio's. I owe it to this. Hold on to that. Oh, I I'm sorry. I'll wash it. It'll be as good as new. Dummy, that's not what she was trying to say at all. Wait, why am I... Right? From me to Mio, and from her to you, the feeling is passed on. Until you can make your voice truly heard, please keep it with you. Yeah? I will. If that's how you feel, I'll be more than happy to keep using it. Take care, then. Mio? Huh? You've become the greatest offseer I've ever seen. Oh, there's still room to grow. But at least I found my stride. Since I'm not alone. Could I, uh, come with you? Of course. You're back, Miyavi. We really missed you. Thank you, Mio, Senna.
think it's safe to take these off. Do you think it's safe to take these off?